How's it going out there? Welcome to Mesh 2 Tech Video. Today I'm going to show you how to use your Kindle Fire as a remote for the Chromecast. Pretty much, uh, I'm going to demonstrate it on uh, four different apps YouTube, Hulu, Pandora, and Netflix. There are other apps that work with this, but specifically, um, I want to show off these because these are the, kind of like the main, most popular apps. Now, keep in mind, um, there were a couple of videos that came before this one. There was a video on how to set up the Chromecast with the Kindle Fire, as well as you do need to have downloaded the One Mobile Market because you have to um, use that to download the Chromecast app. I don't think you need to have the Chromecast app to necessarily use the feature, but if you wanted to set up your Chromecast with the Kindle, you did have to have the Chromecast app, which is not available in the Amazon App Store. So, all that being said, I have these apps ready. Let's go ahead and show Netflix first. So we're gonna open up Netflix. All you have to do is make sure your Chromecast and your Kindle Fire are on the same Wi-Fi network. Now I'm currently doing this with the Kindle Fire HDX, but this will this should work with a Kindle Fire and a Kindle Fire HD. So just keep that in mind. I'm gonna go ahead and um, first you want to look for this symbol, which is the Chromecast symbol right here. Now I think when I was testing it, I already had it set up, so let me reset it here. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to tap the Chromecast symbol, which is right here, and it will bring up an option. It'll ask, where do you want to play the show? So we're going to tap Bedroom Chromecast, which that's what I have my Chromecast named. And the TV will switch to the Chromecast interface. It'll, excuse me, switch to the Netflix interface. And then you just pick the show you want to watch. So I'm going to continue this episode of Magic School Bus. I'm going to tap here. This is the icon I'll see on the on my Kindle, but on the screen it will load and it'll play in a couple of seconds. No doubt. You can also use your Kindle Fire HDX uh, as a remote. So we can we can um, pull the volume down there. There is a little bit of a delay, but it will turn it down after a couple of seconds. You can also close your Kindle, which is kind of cool, and you can do other things. You could actually be reading or playing Candy Crush. I'm gonna open up Candy Crush real fast just to show you. You could actually be playing Candy Crush while uh, it is playing Netflix. So that's kind of a cool feature about it. You can continue to use your device even while it is uh, showing a different show. So if you want to pause the show or switch to a different show or, 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 or stop it, you'd have to go back to the Netflix app and we can stop it, which the stop is in the corner here. There we go. And then if you want to disconnect it, we're going to tap the Chromecast symbol and then you want to tap this device. So now you're basically telling the Kindle, hey, when I... I want it to disconnect from Chromecast and go back to my device, okay? And that will stop it from sending. Then we're gonna go home. Now let's switch to Pandora, okay? So Pandora's open, same thing. Look for the Chromecast symbol. Tap on there. Then we're gonna tap Bedroom Chromecast. Now you do have to pick a station first before it will send it, so I'm gonna pick the uh, Maya moving on radio station and now I'm gonna tap the symbol for Chromecast and then bedroom Chromecast now it, the TV will then switch to the Pandora interface with the Chromecast and there it is okay classic song right there and again, we can go home and do other things while it does play music. This is really cool to have that background music going at your house, but you could still use your Kindle to do other things. If we want to stop it, press Pandora. We can pause it. We can change the song. We can control the volume, or we can just tap Chromecast symbol here and disconnect, and then it will disconnect immediately. Then we're going to go home. And I'm going to show you YouTube and Hulu. Now, to get the actual YouTube app, I have another video that does show you how to do that. So check on my channel and you will find another video on how to get the official YouTube app on your Kindle Fire. It is not available on the Amazon App Store, but I do have a video that does show you how to get it. So let's find a video to show real quick. Let's show this. Let's stupid. Let's show this. Videos suck. Let's go entertainment. Let's show some Jeopardy. All right, so pull up a video. 
Look for the Chromecast symbol, which is right here. Tap on it. Tap Bedroom Chromecast. And then it will send it right to the TV. Give it a second. Give it a second. There it is. You didn't have to. And again, pause it. Pick different shows to watch. And then when you're done, you just tap the symbol, disconnect, and it will disconnect. Go home. And that's it. Now let's show you Hulu as well. Same thing. Look for the Chromecast symbol. It's usually up here. So let's give it a second to make the connection. Or let's see. Oh. It may not be compatible with the Hulu app on the Kindle. That's interesting. I guess I didn't test it on here. So Hulu might be out of the picture for right now, but it might just take a software update and then you will be able to use Hulu with it. But anywho, that's how you use your Kindle Fire, uh, Kindle Fire, Kindle Fire HDX or Kindle Fire HD as a remote for your Chromecast. There are other apps that are available, but these are kind of like the main three or four that kind of work with it that people will probably use it for. So that's why I wanted to show those four. Hope you guys found this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share the video if you did find it helpful. Subscribe to HG Tech Videos and like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Tech Videos. Take care and have a good one.